welcome to our review on clean air. First thing we need to know about then is what actually is found in the atmosphere today. So one thing you do need to remember for your exam are not only the names of the key gases, but also those percentages. So what we've got is nitrogen equates for 78% of our atmosphere, oxygen is 21%, and those are the two they're most likely to ask you about. So do remember those two, not only the names, but also those two percentages. Our carbon dioxide then, 0.035%, and then there are other gases as well that make up those tiny little proportions that are left. If we try to think back to what life would have been like if we were actually able to see what the Earth was like during its inception, then we have to go back four and a half billion years. So the Earth itself we know is around four and a half billion years old. So in that first billion years of the Earth's existence, what we found was the surface of this planet was, well, let's say rather unpleasant. There was lots of volcanic activity going on. So what we actually found from those volcanoes that were erupting a lot of the time, then we had these gases being released and they were mainly water vapor and carbon dioxide. In addition to that, we had these much smaller amounts of ammonia and methane being released at the same time. So what we find is in that first billion years of our actual atmosphere and its formation, we didn't really have oxygen available to us. What we had was something that was rather unpleasant as an atmosphere that wouldn't have supported life as we know it. What we find though is over time that water vapour that was being thrown out by these volcanoes then condensed and as a result of that it eventually formed the oceans. So that left us with an atmosphere mainly comprised of carbon dioxide. When we think about how we got to the atmosphere we've got today with the 21% of the oxygen from that carbon dioxide atmosphere, then we need to think about what brings about those changes. And the key thing were plants. So we know that plants make their own food using photosynthesis. And the word equation for that process is carbon dioxide plus water makes glucose and oxygen. And that's the key thing here. Our plants, as they started to evolve, reduced the levels of carbon dioxide and increased the levels of oxygen because they were carrying out photosynthesis, therefore taking in carbon dioxide and converting it into oxygen, which they then released to start forming what we now know as our atmosphere. In addition to that, we lost carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in a couple of other ways. First one is that it dissolved in the oceans because carbon dioxide is a soluble gas. So it dissolved into the oceans and then marine organisms used that dissolved carbon dioxide to make their shells and skeletons. So what we then found is as those organisms then died, then what we actually used was those shells and skeletons from dead organisms to form our sedimentary rock of limestone. So what we actually find is limestone itself is made primarily from the shells and skeletons of these dead marine organisms. So what we find is we've locked away a significant amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere inside the limestone. And that's mainly as this chemical calcium carbonate. In addition to locking it away in that calcium carbonate, then we also remove more carbon dioxide and locked it away inside the fossil fuels. So obviously as those organisms died and then they got converted into these fossil fuels, that locked that carbon dioxide away from the atmosphere and kept it hidden in those fossil fuels basically until we burn it in the future. The other thing that we found happening in our atmosphere was we started off with ammonia and that was broken down by sunlight and the reaction with oxygen to form nitrogen. So because that nitrogen is a very unreactive gas, then it's remained in the atmosphere for all of these years. So what we found was the original ammonia was broken down to make the nitrogen, and because that nitrogen doesn't really react with anything, then it's just remained in the atmosphere, making up that 78% of what we know as our modern atmosphere.